Hello, uh, welcome back to ultrasound, uh, bedside ultrasound. Uh, we're still talking about scanning modes and going through the basics. Um, I would recommend if you haven't um, done so, I would watch M mode first, motion mode, and uh, color Doppler and power Doppler videos. Uh, that will probably make this a little bit easier to understand since it kind of get it's essentially a, a mode somewhat in between the two. Um, obviously provides some different information, but it may be uh, uh, a struggle to understand um, without having seen the prior uh, videos. So pulse wave Doppler relies on Doppler effect and is what it is is you get a you're in your B mode ultrasound you hit your uh, power Doppler or pulse wave Doppler and you uh, get this line that shows up and you have what's called your Doppler gate which is right here obviously the arrows pointing at it but that's your sample gate and is what you're going to do is you're essentially telling the ultrasound machine that you do not care about anything else that's going on on the ultrasound machine other than what's in this little area and so you're gonna take and you're gonna place that little area right over an area of interest and so this is similar to the color uh, Doppler videos earlier and we're gonna rely on Doppler shift to provide an image for us uh, we are once again over the patient's uh, aorta and we're going to Go ahead and get a sample here. So we're going to place that sampling gate right there uh, over the aorta. And essentially, like I said, we're ignoring everything else that's going on with the ultrasound. And all we've done is left this little tiny area. And all we care about is what's going on there. And we want to see what's happening with flow or th those type of things there. Um, and so we are going to get a sample that looks like this. And is what it does is at time zero, it gives you a tracing going from left to right of what's happening over time. And we get it in a scale of centimeters per second. So if we look at this, and this aorta, we're getting flows approaching about 75 to 80 uh, up here. It's a little, hate, a little it gets a little um, light there, but you can tell it's coming up all the way to the top. And that's how fast that flow is coming across. And so we can see over time, this is definitely an arterial flow, has a nice peak, has a nice uh, a rebound, and we're going to do that. So these are positive deflections. So that is, uh, if you watch the Doppler effect uh, or the color Doppler video, you'll understand that this is flow towards the probe, and then this is as it goes away and then comes back. And so you get a little bit of you know the flow coming uh, as it comes through the aorta, high peak flow as as you're through systole, and then and then that little bit of uh, not contraction but rebound of the aorta to get you a little bit more here on the back end. And all we're doing is we've ignored, once again, we've ignored all the rest of the image and we're just over that little sample gate. So all we're doing is seeing what's happening right there at that, that tiny, tiny spot on, um, over time. And we can see that we have placed this over the aorta. We get that nice uh, flow right through there, uh, which is I, uh, typical of an arterial type flow, especially the aorta at these velocities. So. Uh, that's just showing you your scale once again which I already pointed out and then the baseline here um, and those can be adjusted sometimes if you set your scale too low you will see what's called uh, it's called aliasing aliasing and it will come around to the other side so um, that's uh, that's about it for uh, pulse wave Doppler if you have any questions feel free to leave those leave uh, those here but uh, uh, thanks for listening